Hi everyone, Pablo here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos from Mac Tips, Backend, Swift, Salesforce, and Game Development. In my last Unreal Engine tutorial, I covered the blend poses by Bool. You can check that out if you haven't seen that video. In this video, I'm going to cover the other two blend poses, which is the blend poses by Int and the blend poses by Enum. We're going to learn the following. We are going to learn how to incorporate blend poses using the third person character blueprint and the animation blueprint and also learn a little bit about enums. Let's go. So for this tutorial, I'm using the animation starter pack. So go ahead, download that from fab. So I have the animation starter pack already uh, added to my project here. And using the automatic retargeter, I retargeted to the UE5 mannequin. So that's the uh, setup. Check out the blend poses by bull tutorial that I did. I covered this there in more detail. All right, so to get started, I'm using the third person here. I'm gonna open up the third person blueprint here. And I'm gonna set up um, some keyboard events here. So I'm gonna say keyboard R. I'm using this. So when I press the keyboard R, I'm going to add a flip-flop node. And I'm going to create a new variable here. I'm just going to call it weapon int. And it's going to be of type integer. So I want to set that there. And when I do that, I want to change the value to 1. And when it hits the flip-flop again, I want to set it back to zero. So I also want to add another event. Let's call it uh, keyboard, say, P, as in for pistol. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to copy this, control D, do a flip-flop, but for the P button, I'm going to I'm going to set the weapon into 2 and back to 0. So save that. And I'm going back to my content drawer here. So next, I'm going to the characters here and go under the mannequins and open up the animation blueprint for the APB Manny. Right. So open the event graph. So I have the event graph here. As you can see, by default, it's casting to this character. So we're going to get that character. Uh, under reference here, get the character. And then I want to cast this to the third person character. And I want to create this as a variable. And add a pin down here and then connect this. That should allow us to get access to any of the variables that we have on the third person. Uh, let me jump back to the third person. This weapon int that I created, I want to make sure it's instance editable. So then compile and come back here. Disregard this uh, transition warning that's uh, always happening when you have this um, animation blueprint open. Go to the locomotion, so the anim graph. And then under the anim graph, go to this locomotion state machine. And we're first going to do the idle. Actually, we'll just do the idle. So as you can see here, the idle pose gets outputted as the default animation pose here. So we're going to break this. And we're going to search for the blend poses by int. So the blend poses by int is where we could uh, switch around which pose the user would use. So. So I'm going to get the third person character here. Get. And then I'm gonna uh, get the weapon it we have. So depending on what this value, it could be zero, one, or two. This would be the uh, post that's gonna go here. So I'm gonna put this here. So blend zero, blend post zero would be the idle. And under here, I'm going to search for pistol, uh, pistol idle. Uh, I think I did P as pistol. So P is 2. 
So I'm going to add right click here and add a add blend pin. So pistol would be blend to and then I'm going to search for a rifle here. I think it's idle rifle. Yeah, idle rifle here. So this animation will go in here. So let's compile this. Uh, make sure that the output post is uh, compiled, is linked, and there you go. So now when I play this, um, when I hit the P for the pistol, it's going to do a pistol pose. When I hit the P again, it's going to go back to idle, and then R would be the rifle pose. So, uh, so you can see uh, the animation is pretty quick, so what you could do is tweak this blend time. So this blend time, I can say uh, 0.5. So this is the transition from one post to another. You, you could tweak um, that here. And then you do that again, say, you would see it's much smoother. So adjust it according to your setup. Cool. So I had to look up what the actual value is for the um, pistol animation that I wanted so it's weapon integer 2 so it's not very intuitive what the integer is so another method that we could use is the using enums so enum is basically just a key value pair where you define the name and then the value could be anything that you specify so let's jump to the content drawer here and under the third person blueprint here under here right click uh, s search for blueprint and under blueprint you should see enumerations here so give it a name I'm gonna call it e underscore uh, weapon weapons yep open it up and basically define the key pair here so I'm gonna add three items here first one first one will be idle and then other ones would be, um, I say, rifle. And the third one is pistol. Cool. And then go back to the third person here. So now we could swap this from an integer. So I'm going to remove this first gonna swap that from an integer and search for enums uh, e weapon so now you would see that the data type has changed to enums um, to an enum here and maybe let's also rename this so weapon enum so when I set that to flip flop here, I can define what the weapon is. So I don't need to specify the integer. So first I want to say this is a rifle and then set it back to idle. And similarly, this one, I want to set it to uh, pistol and set it back to idle. Oops. All right. So that easy, um, very readable what this action is doing it's setting it to rifle setting back to idle not one and zeros cool now to configure this on the animation blueprint we simply need to delete this and as you can see the data type has changed here already so now we can search for blend poses enum uh, i think i called e underscore weapons so Blend poses e underscore weapons is what you want, and the active in the um, enum value would go here. Then you could define the poses. So by default, there's a default pose. We're not gonna use that. So go ahead and add the pins here. So you can see there's a, a pin for element option here. So idle would be this pose, and rifle would be rifle hip. And pistol would be the pistol here. And do the output pose. Similarly, you could play around with the blend time. 
you also have options here on the side here to more smoother animation if you want so you could play around with those so let's compile and we got an error so because maybe this data type is not right so let me get that again so um, e weapon enum and set that let's see if that fixes the issue yep that fixes the issue so if you're changing data type you might need to delete it from the node and then set it back again right so now when i play it should be basically the same so from pistol to rifle to idle rifle to pistol cool so that's it hope you like this tip thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel for more videos cheers bye for now